Yeah, is this it? is the old uh, 590. I think I presume it's a 590. Yeah. Car park. be a class some classic car so you're here because they come for meetings here yeah, right. it's an interesting car its own right isn't it there a Volvo hello <laughs> <laughs> that's a new exhibit isn't it I thought there was some new ones here. yeah <laughs> 1907 did die on boot on all right girls so much to see here isn't there that's an electric car probably think electric cars are New, don't you? Yeah. That's an auto red bug. I was thinking of that too. It's about your size, isn't it, T? Yeah, do you like that? Yeah? Yeah. So you're having a scratch here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the one? No, you wouldn't have much. I can't really see that. There's no uh, luggage compartment in there. It's just <laughs> all the stuff in, behind you. If you break suddenly, it'll whack yeah, you on the head. I, I think that seat looks all right. Left-hand drive as well, Yeah, yeah. Well, they probably were left-hand drive, the Model T's, weren't they made in America? Of course, yeah. The first ones. Yeah. I think they are originally started making them over there. It says An Andre Citroen was born in Paris and his father was a fruit seller and took the surname Limon Man, literally Lime Man. He disliked this name and turned it to Citroen, Dutch for lemon. Right, never knew that. Helmer Minx. <laughs> So Hillman Minx foursome. So you could have four people in here. A drop head nine eight, nine nine eight cc four speed, uh, gear, speed gearbox. So if you thought the app was a bit slow coming up that hill today, yeah, same sort of size engine. Same yeah. size engine, yeah. Probably weighed about the same as the app. Um, Poppy's doing a bit of mechanic in. <laughs> <laughs> Come out to there. Yeah, there's something that's a bit, little bit bigger than the Hillman Minx foursome. There's a Fleetwood limousine. So a 5.7 litre V8. That uh, belonged to James Furlong. It's licensed till 1941, when it assumed that the, the license, uh, uh, the rationed petrol and the wartime license, it became too much. And it was then used as a hire car until 1966. A little picnic set in the back. That is beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Imagine going to a wedding in that. Yeah. Look at the exhausts on this. God. So this is the fastest TVR ever produced and it's a 7.7 .7 litre V12 hence the 712 name so it's built around two of TVR six cylinder engines about 850 brake horsepower
Good well, job, that you, model. Yeah, that Kestrel yeah, that one. Yeah. Kestrel there, the um, Kestrel Jaguar. Yeah. Where have you got that from? I think you got it from a special offer or something. Dodgeon car. Designed to look like an early MG race car from the 30s. Using a concrete racetrack at the New Brighton Fairground near Wallasey. Mine could Yeah. This was before electric bumper cars. Actually had a little a little engine with it. Don't say what size engine it had. Oh yeah, it does. It's a single a marine cylinder, a single cylinder marine engine in it. And you just drove around on that. And you just drove around on that, and that was before electric bumper cars. Right. And Austin A35. Yeah, Jen, I still think we should get one of these. No. <laughs> Space for the dogs in the back. No. <laughs> yeah, no, it's the dog girls will go in the back. You can go there and I'll be up front. No, not gonna happen. Cheap form of transport. What do you reckon girls? They don't like the idea, look. <laughs> 1956 BSA M21. Police. The 90, 1960 MGA Roadster. So, was it one of the first um, plain clothes cars, really, wasn't it? Grandma was in the Land Army, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, that was in the First World War, though. Yeah. It was a 1962 Ford Consul Capri. He was trying to bring sort of American style into the English market, wasn't it? So he great big long bonnet. Look at the size of the bonnet here. Mm. Not much of a seat in the back. all-time favourite classic sports cars really isn't it, the TR5? Yeah. Knew someone had a TR6 didn't we? Mm. It's funny, yeah I'll just, I can't really see that, it's a bit dark in here, it's a Yamaha Fizzy F FS1E. So it was a moped made, styled to look like a motorbike. Yeah, like your like, it was like the pook that I had, mm. and they, oh, they were immensely popular with teenagers. These were. I'm sure we've got a picture of you somewhere. Were there somewhere? Yeah, yeah. I have to see if I can find it, but it's a little bit dark in here. And I drove it into the back of a mini. Funny enough, there's a in mini the behind it in the dark. In the yeah. dark. Got no lights, no street lights, were there? No. It was foggy. It was foggy, and Bank I holiday. I hit it, hit the back of the mini, and I flew over the top of the mini. Yeah, and you're lucky that. So, you just injured your leg, didn't you? Cut your leg very I bad. bruised my leg very badly. That was that was yeah, basically it. It could have been so much more. Wasn't yeah. It? CBX. Oh. Generally, huge bikes, weren't they? I mean, mm -hmm. Not just the size of the engine, but. No. Beautiful bikes here. Look at NSU moped here, yeah, look. Look at that. I had a coat like that. <laughs> Didn't have the goggles though. Particularly <laughs> like this outfit here. Grave. Honda. 
Just a little bit different, Mark. Yeah. It's the 2014 TT0. Electric, Electric, yeah. 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 TT0 winning Shingen San Team Mogan electric bike. That's future, isn't it? But look at all the number plates they've got up here. Your one, you know, you had on your mini, the 97T. I had a, yeah, I had a number plate which was 977T. TZ, wasn't it? TZ, that's yeah. right. Yeah, 977TZ. It's an Irish plate. A lot of these are American, Texas. A little Honda there. About a 1950 Corgi scooter. Two cars you might recognise down there. Capri. Manta. Cortina. Yeah. And a Rover. It's the one that's a Rover, yeah. yeah. Then it's an Opal Manta. Opal Manta, which Brian, Brian had. Yeah. Uh, Opal the Manta. He had a red one, yeah. And the Metro uh, behind that. Yeah. And uh, DeLorean, is DeLorean it? behind that. And there's a Cosworth further down. Yeah. I always wanted it. Just a bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another brass work here. Yeah. Old garage. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. Old Bowser. So for the more mature drive, we have available a fully refurbished Series 2 Morris Special Coupe. <laughs> on the road price, £215. Shiny bikes over here. Look at these BSAs. And beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. There's two at the back. One's both yeah. one the other. Yeah, matching pair. Yeah. 1943A folding bicycle. Who's that then at the back? Must be that, is it? Yeah. Or right at the back. Oh, right, right at the back, yeah, to go with your Jeep. Yeah. Sinclair C5. <laughs> These were ridiculous <laughs> things. Look where the handlebars were. They were sort of under your bum, weren't they? Right, so this is a 1982 Ford Cortina. It was a 2.3 automatic. They were quite big cars, weren't yeah, they, really? Yeah, yeah. It's the same age as your Granada was. Yeah, well, I had a, I had Granada a GL. I had a 2.8 GL Granada. Yeah, yeah black. Probably. Yeah, and black. So very sort of similar. I don't. Did the gra it, we did we had steel wheels. These had uh, alloys, didn't they? These ones. Yeah, that brings back some memories. Seeing that. Now our friend Brian had an Opal Manta. Yeah, and a red one. He had a red one. A Aluminium DeLorean. <coughs> oh yeah, Back to the Future, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's the car using Back to the Future. Well, it's not the car using the Back to the Future, but. Same. Same one. So it's what Jenny's been wanting to see, isn't it? The Cosworth. Yeah. 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 1986 RS Cosworth. Massive wing on the back. We, 
one of our neighbours had one of these, didn't they, when we were in Letchworth? They had it stolen. Did they? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. It would have been a worry, I suppose. Forever. Yeah. 204 brake horsepower version of the engine was introduced in the RS Cosworth. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be here if I'd have had one of these. <laughs> Yeah, always enjoy coming here. Always miss things up in the ceiling as well. You yeah. hand gliders, someone in a balloon. Vauxhall Victor, that was a Victor Deluxe. That must have been the one my dad had. Yeah, yeah. oh blimey. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Thought twice about it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Ford popping. That's oh. that's the shape your dad had, wasn't it? The, yeah, the, the yeah, two. The he had a two six, didn't he? Two six hundred. Two six hundred. Oh, a Lancia Integrale. Lovely. RS sixteen hundred. Yeah. And they had the caravan here, haven't they? Sort of caravan you used to go on holiday in as a kid, isn't it? Well, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Place for a spare wheel, yeah, yeah, yeah. novel yeah, place for, for the yeah. spare wheel, yeah. This was acted as a bumper as well, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Know what it is? That's a Healy. All right. You want one of these? Oh my goodness, look at that. It's gorgeous. It's a Rolls Royce, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. favourite uh, sports car TR6 TR register TR6 yeah. Yeah. I always end up looking at the Land Rover first <laughs> <laughs> Donald Campbell's Land Rover Series 1 but then you look at this thing here you have to step right back to get it all in yeah look at that this is 1935 Bluebird car broke the world land speed record at Bonneville Tires. Oh. Meccano, <laughs> model of a bluebird. Loads of little models. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't seen this last time we were here. The little models. 
limited edition replica of Donald Campbell's lucky mascot, Mr. Whoppet, by Merry Thought. <laughs> Yeah, so this was his Series 1 86 inch wheelbase Land Rover. He used to carry the tyres for the Bluebird in the back here. is a replica of the 1967 hydroplane K Bluebird K7 276 miles an hour he was doing 300 miles an hour when it killed him yeah So it had a Bristol Sidley Orpheus engine, 5,000 pounds of thrust. And it used 650 gallons per hour, 26, and a half, uh, 26 feet, 4 and 3 quarter inches long. And uh, it was kerosene. It was used in the Anthony Hopkins film in 1988, this replica it's just basically a, a jet engine on a pontoon isn't it was the business end I think I've already said hello Bob give us a shout out I'm filming an ending for today's video and I'll include it in the film oh I see Go on. hi Bob there's ads here <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Unfortunately, Zoe's not with me at the moment. She's she's in another room resting. Uh, but uh, hopefully, uh, you <laughs> hopefully you're doing a really good time, having a really good time, and uh, re doing some recording of your video. Yeah. So where are you, Bob? Where are you at Can home you making the uh, making the end of a film? Yeah. Yeah. It seems a bit weird that I'm in your film. Yeah. Filming you filming me. me. Yeah. Me saying that sounds <laughs> strange. It would be strange. <clears throat> so